We have some questions uh, up prepared for, and hopefully, if we have some time at the end, we will open for the round questions from the audience. Let me just start by uh, addressing the key issue that has been raised about getting a bank account. Uh, what uh, this has to do with um, the very strict anti-money laundering regulation that's um, in Europe and in Norway, and it is with the system we have with preliminary social security numbers, the, the D number, uh, and the relationship between the D number and the anti-money laundering um, issues. So we need to get this in place. Uh, we have been working hard to, to get it in place in the relationship between the authorities and, uh, and the banking sector. Um, a proposal uh, for uh, issuing electronic ID to foreigners in Norway uh, uh, is on a public hearing uh, by the 5th of June. We are strongly supporting that because that will probably solve it. Um, we, we like to think that we are uh, the most technologically um, uh, advanced banking sector in, uh, in Europe when it comes to the payment services. I mean, 97% is electronic. We, need, we, we should be able to do this uh, lightning fast, uh, and we are not. But that is the issue. We are working on it, and hopefully it will become better. Uh, my second reflection has to do with the issue. Uh, Alfred talked about the transformation of Norwegian business. We know uh, that we have uh, extracted uh, significant value from the oil and gas sector. Going forward, uh, we need to build Norwegian businesses on knowledge, on research, uh, on scientific excellence. Uh, we need to develop our own talents, but we really, really, really need uh, talent to come to Norway. Both because we need the talents and because we need that melting pot uh, where we can challenge, where we can be inspired, where we can work together. And if you look, at, uh, if, if you think about it and look what is happening in Norway, massive investments in, uh, in health and life sciences, massive investments in uh, renewable energy, investments in aquaculture, investments in uh, a number of areas that's exciting, important, looking to the future. Uh, and we think that, that a lot of people would like to come here, not only because we are friendly and happy, but because we are developing uh, really, really uh, exciting business opportunities. And I think it's important for political parties and uh, people in parliament to say crystal clear that we want to make it easier for people to go to other countries to work and to live and to create lives there. And in Norway, a lot of EU citizens have, have that freedom to come to Norway and work. But the, the world is larger than the European Union. We want to give that opportunity to people all over the world. It should be as easy for a Palestinian from Ramallah with a great ID as a, a Brit from London to start and test that ID in Norway. And that is important for us in the Socialist Left Party. And that's why the startup visa is a, such a, a great proposal. And I, I'd wish that the government would listen to that debate we had in Parliament yesterday. Because there's a lot of good arguments for why that is the solution we need. Uh, I see the new Life Sciences Centre, 12 billion uh, in investments from, from the Norwegian Parliament. I see Oslo Science City uh, being a vibrant uh, and extremely exciting uh, innovation, innovation district. Uh, and I see finance being uh, ready to invest in. I mean, look at the D Science Centre that has been established now. Together with Sintef, that's probably one of the strongest centres in, in Europe on artificial intelligence. Uh, but uh, then the next natural step is to follow your uh, suggestions, uh, Alfred, to open up, be inviting, uh, and establish uh, the, the structures that's necessary. Yes, we all agree with the melting pot. Our immigration services, uh, as far as I know, do not agree with that we need a melting pot. <laughs> I mean, so that's a, I think we should acknowledge that fact, uh, and then move on how do we actually solve that issue. Let's dig into what we should do now. What we see in the, in the debate on the representative proportion is that uh, they say that, well, but the system is quite okay today and we must not hurry, we must do more 
a search. We must know more before we do changes and everything. And that I disagree with. I think we know enough that the system is not good enough today and there is a hurry to get Norway more, more, more attractive. And if we should, before 2030, succeed with turning the Norwegian economy into a new economy, then every month is important now to start this. And we need very quick to, be, uh, to get more international talent. Yes. I, this word, I need help with. So I've been uh, searching for it uh, all day. Mm -hmm. You need laughing after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but government supporting mechanisms probably would be a good uh, way to put it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Governmental supporting agencies and uh, things like that. Okay, can we make a report? Give it to the audience. Public scheme, maybe? Yeah. Um, we will watch Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we, we, ha we have said that we will do a review about uh, these public fundings uh, that we have in Norway. Uh, for example, Innovation Norway, SIVA, uh, all these uh, programs that will help startups and uh, entrepreneurs and also make growth business. And, um, and these, is, uh, these uh, programs are available for uh, foreign entrepreneurs. Uh, as soon as they get their uh, uh, ID, <laughs> we'll work with that, <laughs> and, and then they can start a Norwegian company, and all these programs are available. But we're not sure that all these programs are working properly. That's why we are out having dialogues with uh, all the users, all the organization working with innovation and research and uh, business, it's to get the good feedback on how we can make um, Norwegian tax money used in the best way in order to help uh, new businesses grow in Norway. Do you think it's important to renew our immigration services to attract more talent? To put it bluntly. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, the thing is that this was reviewed in the last government as well. And in, in a, with a very broad hearing. And then what they found out was that this visa uh, was not the solution. Uh, and, and I can give you a lot of reason for that, but yep. we have a short time. We have a short time. <laughs> yes. uh, and so I was looking for a yes or no answer, but I guess the answer is no then. Uh, no, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that because I see that we have a lot of. Uh, um, um, bureaucracy issues to make it, uh, make it easier. Right. Yeah. For me, it seems like our immigration services has been put up to keep people out. Yeah. Mm. And how do these people, or how, how do these services internet or these problems internet? Yeah. Uh, we're not good enough. We have to we have to be blunt about that. And I have to say that I think we would have gotten a lot further if more politicians use their two ears and not their one mouth to listen to people who, ha who have experience with immigration in Norway, to see how hard that system is, how long time it takes, how, how much uh, uncertainty you experience all the time, uh, and how much misbelief you, you meet at every doorstep. And I think if we listen to that people, we meet those people, we see what are their, their motives to come to Norway, I think we will get a lot further. We should develop our thinking around the work permits yes. because we need a different kind of talent uh, than we needed when we developed the oil and gas industry. And how to solve that part? So it's an add-on. It's a it's a different set of structure. Instead of taking the entire uh, general rules, which will take probably 50 years, uh, we can we can we can be pragmatic and find solutions. How do we, uh, how do we attract? talent and let the talent come into Norway and work uh, if they do not have an employer. The good thing is that many other countries have done it already. Yes. So we don't have to invent something that nobody else has invented. We just have to look at what other countries have done and done something and do something. Yes. Thank you.